We are at the David Lawrence Convention Center Riverfront Plaza. This is one of our newest parks. It opened about a year ago and it's, it provides a beautiful way for people to get from the city to the riverfront, for boats to pull in and take passengers on, and, on rides around the river. It includes a native landscape with natural species that are in bloom with the beautiful black-eyed Susans and it's really become a favorite spot for people to come and enjoy getting right down to the water's edge. It has the added advantage of connecting finally the Allegheny Riverfront Trail and Point State Park to the Strip District. So for a long time this was a missing tooth that now is part of Three Rivers Park and our Riverfront Park system. Now, River Life is a really unusual citizen group. Um, they came together in 1999. Mayor Tom Murphy formed a task force, and it was a group of citizens who were thinking big for Pittsburgh. They were very ambitious in their reach, they were very aspirational, and they set out to create a vision to bring Pittsburgh's riverfronts from that once industrialized place to being the new center of the community and to making this a river city. Um, they, they set about going out to the community with to, talking to thousands of citizens with 120 public meetings and from that feedback came the plan that we've been working on ever since. Now, the, the hurdles are Pittsburgh has a very unusual riverfront plan. It's a combination of property that's owned by scores of people, uh, public and private landowners. Every project is unique. Everyone involves different developers. Everyone has different challenges, different landscape, and different funding opportunities. So one of our biggest challenges is figuring out piece by piece uh, in a big puzzle. How do we make every riverfront project really be an example of the standards of beautiful urban design and environmentally sustainable landscapes that we're looking for and also have them connect into one grand scale place that is open and available to everyone. I know everyone misses the Point State Park Fountain. It is the icon of our region and it is right now, I'm happy to say, it's a full construction hard hat area. It's the final phase of a, of a long construction period and revitalization of the park. It will be reopened next, early next summer, better than ever before, with a, a higher jet of water, with state-of-the-art LED sustainable lighting, with a new disappearing waterfall feature and a splash pool for people of all ages to be able to come down and picnic and enjoy the fountain up close. And of course, enjoy the view of the fountain from the hills and valleys that have made Pittsburgh famous. That's right, one of our priorities right now is to complete the Mon Wharf landing project. There's only one piece left. It's a ramp system. It's a switchback ramp that will connect the riverfront to the Smithfield Street Bridge and to the Great Allegheny Passage. So all of those miles of trails that take us from Point State Park all the way to Washington, D.C. will be complete once we put this ramp in place. So that's one of our top priorities for the next couple of years. Yeah, the Allegheny Riverfront has been a focus of great excitement. It's, it's one of the most interesting districts of Pittsburgh. It involves half a dozen neighborhoods. The riverfront stretches for six and a half miles. It's one of the longest natural riverbanks that we have with great restora restoration possibilities. And it's also the home to a tremendous number of residents and businesses in Pittsburgh. Lots of people use it, lots of people love it. And so several years ago, the city and River Life and the Urban Redevelopment Authority launched a vision plan with the community to come up with a plan to maximize the benefits of the riverfront and the neighborhoods and multimodal transportation to really make that whole network of the district connect once again to the riverfront. There are lots of opportunities to put uh, the kind of riverfront parks that we've come to love 
with fishing piers, with marinas, with splash pools for children and lawns for picnicking. So we're looking at a decade of being able to, to, to connect the neighborhoods and the districts from the Strip District all the way up to Highland Park Dam as our new newest chapter, if you will, of riverfront development in Pittsburgh. We, we have a once in the century opportunity to get back to our riverfronts. And one of our challenges is that our riverfronts have been industrialized. And so this time we're looking at how to bring back, not only how to create access for pedestrians and boaters, but how to bring back riparian habitat. And what does that mean? It means to create habitat for marine and land species. It means to reinstall native plant species that will stabilize riverbanks, capture rainwater, clean the water, and create a beautiful leafy place where people can feel once again what it was like to be on a natural riverfront riverbank. It's, it's incredibly exciting to see, not only that the trails are opening up and thousands upon thousands of people are using it and, and more every year, but we're also finding that the parks and trails along our riverfront are luring investment, real investment. In fact, four and a half billion dollars of investment in the corporate headquarters that you see in the residential towers, in cultural facilities, in entertainment venues, in sporting uh, facilities. I mean, it's all happening on the rivers. And what that means is that the rivers become a, a place that not only is a gathering space that's free and open to everyone, but that investment and then the income and the job creation that comes out of it, the attraction of tourism, all generates many layers of economic development. So at the end of the day, we have a recreational asset that's becoming an environmental asset, and ultimately that is the economic asset for Pittsburgh. We now approach our riverfronts as one big interconnected system that brings our neighborhoods to the water, that connects the riverbanks continuously to our bridges. And we are we're working to make sure that every four to 600 feet, people in Pittsburgh's neighborhoods can get down to the water, to water landings where they can really enjoy, touch, and, and feel the fact that we live in this remarkable river topography. You're talking about Alex Krieger, the world famous planner, um, who, who said that in Pittsburgh he'd love to be a car because the cars occupied all of the best and most valuable land on our waterfront. And it's true. Our waterfronts were loaded with, with uh, railroads, with parking lots, with elevated highways, and it's been a huge challenge to figure out how to bring the landscape back to those edges, how to consolidate that parking, how to, how to make our riverfronts accessible for feet and for multimodal transportation rather than for parking lots and garages. We've come a long, long way. Uh, we are 80% uh, complete now with restoring riverfront edges within the 13 miles of Three Rivers Park. Uh, do we have some challenges yet to come? Yes, we do. But I think at the rate of, of our progress, we'll be there faster than we think.